Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. I'm Joe from 9to5Notion and in this video, I'm giving you a quick tour of my Notion template for content creators. And as a thank you for watching my video, I'm giving you this Notion template for free and you can find the download link in the description below. By the end of this video, you will learn how to create your own Notion template for content planning. And now let's get started. This is my Notion template and I use this template to plan out my content on YouTube. And so this is the uh, main dashboard page and I have eight pages embedded in this dashboard. So there are eight backlinks connected to this dashboard and we have two widgets here and this is the clock widget and this is the weather widget and I will show you how you can get those widgets from website and you can embed those widgets on this Notion dashboard. And now here's how I use my dashboard. I put to-do list and reflections and brain dump. So if I have like a task to complete, like let's say read a book today for 30 minutes, let's say, and then today is July 2nd. So July 2nd, Saturday, and then read a book for 30 minutes and then learn tutorials from YouTube and so on. And for brain dump, I can jot down the things that I have in my mind. And this is the, um, the quote. And I put this quote from Gandhi, be the change you wish to see in the world. This is the, um, the call out feature. And now let's move on to the YouTube content plan. So this is the um, Kanban board that I use to plan out my content on YouTube. And the board view is one of my favorite views of the database because it's easy to see the tasks by status and also it's easy to move around tasks if I have completed those tasks. Let's say I need to create a vidIQ review and I am now scripting it. So now it's in the scripting stage and once I have scripted for the vidIQ review and now I am going to move it to ready to record. And so after recording this vidIQ review, I am going to move it to editing. So now I am going to edit that raw video that I just created. And after I created this review video, then I'm going to publish to YouTube. So in my opinion, it's very easy to manage tasks with the, um, the board view. And you can also add like due date, date created, and also you can add the notes right here. So it's quite flexible. But also another view that is easy to edit content is through table view. So here, let's say you put a topic here like book review. So book review, and let's say I have not started yet, or let's say if I have started scripting, I'm going to put scripting here and then date created, maybe today's date. If I want to set reminder, I can do that as well. And then end date, I can put end date here and include time as well if I want to so that I can set that line. So clear. And then I want to set the due date, let's say. For book review, I need to finish it by 16th. So I am giving myself two weeks to work on that video. And remind feature is a great tool. You will get reminded if you set the reminder on this feature. So on the day of event and then end date would be 16 as well. And then include time maybe by noon. Now it's already set up. And on that day, I will be reminded about the book review to be uploaded to YouTube. So on the table view, whatever dates you put it here, you will see on the calendar view. And these two tasks are in May. So if you move to, let's say May, and you will see the tasks posted in the calendar view as well. And I need to create that data view so that I can see the book review right here. So the date created and also the deadline is right here. And this is the timeline view. So, and now let's check the timeline view. So the book review task is already listed here with the deadline as well. And you can put the notes 
let's say add b rolls from google drive so during the process of creating this video you can refer the notes that you put right here and also add copyright free music from youtube studio let's say or epidemic sound so once you click this content then you can see the notes that you put it so that you can get reminded of what you need to do with that video now let's get back to the home page so i created this backlink so that i will be directed back to the home dashboard so it's quite easy to go back and fro from the dashboard to the sub pages so now i am using this dashboard feature in youtube analytics as well so these are the numbers that i came up with so you can track video views subscriber count and also watch time impression retention so and then it's going to like automatically calculate it because i put the sum here so it's going to show the summation of all of the data listed in this column so same goes to watch time i put the sum here so whatever number that you put in it's going to be automatically updated in the sum of the watch time and also impression you can add on your own as well so now let's get back to content creator planner so we're back into the dashboard and now let's go into the checklist before uploading your video on youtube so here is a reminder for myself before uploading my youtube video so let's say a topic one would be five stocks to buy in 2022 so this is the video title and then i have to create a thumbnail for that video so after i record it i need to do these following steps right so first i need to create a thumbnail for my youtube video so after i created that i can click check right here and then i have to work on the description of the video so like it's gonna be like a few sentences for each paragraph it's quite simple and then I need to make a timeline in the description so that the viewers can easily navigate the chapters included in the video. It's quite useful and TubeBuddy also recommends you to include timeline for your YouTube videos. And now here we have hashtags. So I would definitely recommend you to add hashtags if you're creating YouTube videos and uploading on YouTube because these hashtags are for um, optimizing your YouTube videos and you can get higher rankings and then create end screens and then cards and tags and then add to playlists and so on. So for me, I use the TubeBuddy tool and also vidIQ for optimizing my YouTube videos and in that way, I can have a better performance on my videos. Now let's get back to content creator planner dashboard and now keyword research. So again, this is the um, database, but I'm using the table view to list out the tags for a particular video. So let's say these are the, uh, the keyword tags that I'm going to use as the hashtags or the tags. So after I list out all the hashtags that I'm using for my video, it's easy to copy and paste it before I upload my video on YouTube. And now let's get back to content creator planner and these are like the minor pages that I created, uh, like setting goals, like, you know, personal goal, health goals, finance goals, etc. And I have habit tracker that I use to track my habits. And now we are in July. So let's turn on July 22 toggle. And we have habit one, like let's say read book for 30 minutes. So after I edit, let's say if I have done reading for 30 minutes, then I'm going to check as done on 2nd because today is July 2nd. And then the next day, if I have done it, I can put a check mark here. This is how you track your habits and I create it until 31st. So it's quite easy to track your habits that way. And once you're done using July and moving to August, you can click August here and then do the same thing and list out what habits you want to track. Now let's get back to content creator planner and I have bucket list, 
things to do here and also the contact so this is also another database view and then i'm using this associations to categorize them as how i knew them and let's say if i know them through friends i will put them as friends if i know them through work i'm gonna put as work or if it is family then family and then you can put the phone number and email in let's say a linkedin profile which is the url property that I'm using here. So there are so much things you can do on Notion and you can be creative with how you use your dashboard and stuff like that. And now I'm going to show you how you can add widgets on your Notion template. So it's quite easy. You can go to indify.co and we're now on indify.co and this is the website that I get my Notion widgets. But of course, there are so many other Notion widgets that you can get from different websites. And now I'm going to show you a quick demo on how you can get widgets on Indify. So if you haven't been to this website, I would suggest you should sign up on this website before you can log in to the portal and then use their widgets. Sign up. Once you have signed up Indify.co, you will receive a confirmation email. So if you click the link in the confirmation email, then you will be directed to the homepage of your membership portal. And here I'm going to use the weather widgets. So I'm going to put in weather and then click continue. And you can input your city. Let's say I am going to put Mountain View, California, and I can add the weather unit by weather Celsius or Fahrenheit in the US it's commonly used in Fahrenheit. So I'm going to add Fahrenheit here and then how many days you want to see it. So five days is good enough. If you want to adjust to seven days, you can do that as well. Or if you want to see like three days, that's also possible, but I prefer to see it five days. So some features are locked for pro users, but then you don't need that pro version, but feel free to check it out if you want it right here and now hide today's weather forecast and once you scroll down you will see like animated icons right now it the sun is moving right here so it's quite animated and if you turn it off then it's gonna stop moving right here so i prefer animated icons so that it's lively and whenever you see the dashboard and it's amazing and if this is grayscale so it's in black and white and once you're done with the setting, you can click the um, copy to click bot right here. And then let's go back to Notion. And here I'm going to add command V and then click create embed. Hold on a second. Now we have this weather widget. And if you want to increase the size to see more days of this weather view, then click the toggle and drag it out across. So now you have this five day view, or if you want to even add more days, you can do that by seven day view setting in defy.co. All right, that's a wrap for now. If this Notion tutorial adds value to you in some ways, please drop a like down below and also subscribe my channel to learn more about Notion. And I will be sharing Notion tips in this channel as well as the um, you know productivity tool. So. It's great to learn about Notion and Notion is gaining popularity within a few years time. So I would definitely recommend you to start using Notion if you haven't tried it out. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.